Hello and welcome to this YouTube channel for ACCA FR exam prep. My name is Adam. In this video, I will be taking you through how to account for basic earnings per share when there is a right issue during the year. So let's look at the details of this question. Start with the requirement. What was the earnings per share for the year? What you need to always remember is that earnings per share EPS is equal to earnings divided by number of shares. divided by the number of shares. So in this question, we need to account for the number of shares. So let's see. At 1st January 20x8, article had 5 million, $1 equity shares in issue. So the shares in issue as of 1st of January x8. Has been five million. Then on first June 20x8, it made a one for five right issue at a price of 1.5. So one over five, that's the ratio for the right issue. The market price of the shares on the last day of quotation was uh, with the right was 1.8. So the total N is for the year ended December exit was 7.6. So we need to look at how do we find the number of shares. So we call it the weighted the weighted average. So the weighted average number of shares. So now, in finding this, we need to draw a simple table. So I'll say date. I'll say number of shares Then I'll say a fraction or bonus. And then I'll say the weighted. The weighted. So I can call it weighted shares or weighted number of shares. So what we need to look at is there are two dates. The first date is from 1st January to the 1st of June the date on which the right issue was made what we take is the number of shares outstanding within this period so within this period we had five million so we had five million shares now because there was a right issue we need to multiply this by what we call the bonus fraction and the time, the time. So that's why I've left that space to be the fraction. So the bonus fraction is what we calculated by market price, market price of the shares divided by the theoretical X right price market price of the shares divided by the theoretical x right price of the shares times the time the time and this time is between january to june so uh, january 1st to june 1st uh, that is five months so for the whole year we'll have the fraction as five 
over twelve. So when we work out this, now from the question we know the market price. So we need to work out what we call the theoretical x y price. And what it means is that what is the price after the right issue? So there is always a dilution of the price. The price reduces because there is a bonus element uh, in the right issue. And what it means is that the shareholders are not paying for the market price of the shares, but they are paying a reduced price. Then the next fraction to look at is from 1st June to the year end, which is 31st December. Again, we look at the number. So the number of shares are going to increase by the num amount of the uh, right issue fraction. Then we only multiply by the time from issue day to the year end. And out of 12, we'll have 7 over 12. So the number of shares here would be the original 5 million shares. which were already in issue plus the bonus issue sorry the right issue and the right issue uh, will be five million times the one over five and that will give us the number of shares to work with so what we're going to do here is to first find the theoretical x y price then i rework the whole of these uh, pro forma so we look at how we put it together so let's see as a working here i want to look at the theoretical x right price which is the price after the right issue what we do is we look at the number of shares existing which can sell at the current market price and the current market price was one point uh, let's look at that 1.8 and the right issue price is 1.5 so the current market price means that we have five shares that can sell for 1.8 but there is a right issue price of one that can sell for 1.8 five so uh, if you want to extend it we say existing shares right issue so we have existing shares we are right issue shares if you want to qualify it so we find the weight here so five shares will sell for nine uh, one point eight that gives us nine and this of course will give us one point five so we want to find the weighting. So it means that after the right issue, there will be six shares that the shareholders will hold. But what is the price per share for these six shares? So we have 10.5 here as a total. Therefore, therefore, the theoretical X right price. Therefore, the theoretical x right price is equal to 10.5 divided by 6. So 10.5 divided by 6 that gives us 1.7 1.75. So the price will reduce because there is a discount element in the right issue because the actual market price was 1.8. So it reduces to 1.5. So the weighted after the right issue is what we call the theoretical x right price. The market price or the price of the shares after a right issue. Now we need this in our calculation for the weighted number of shares. So uh, just to put this quickly here, just to put this quickly here, from 1st January to 1st June the number of shares I had was 5 million so let me just represent that quickly here times the bonus fraction which is the market price 1.8 
divided by the Toyota X ride price. Always remember how to calculate the Toyota X ride price times the time between January to June. So this will give us the weighted. So let's see uh, the fractions first. 1.8 divided by 1.75 times times 5 divided by 12 times 5 million. And this should give us 2 one four two eight five seven point one so uh, this will be the number of shares then from first june to thirty first december which will be seven months the share which is the right issue share if you go up here five million times one divided by five that gives us one million and that it means we will have six million shares so we're going to have six million shares here which will be the initial share issue plus the right issue times the time between June and December, which is 12 months. This will give us, so we have 6 million times 7 divided by 12. This gives us 3.5 million shares. When we add these together, uh, we will have 5, 6, 4, 2, eight five seven and this will be the number of shares we will need for our earnings per share calculation so we go back here just to pick the figure before uh it is five six four two eight five seven so let's go we'll come back here and say our earnings per share is equal to the 7.6 million which is the earnings divided by the number of shares so here it is five six four two eight five seven so if this were to be a uh, a constructed response question you would have put the workings number here maybe workings one so this should give us the earnings per share so we have 7.6 million divided by six no, five six four two eight five seven and this should give us one point three four six so one point three five to two decimal places one point three five and from the option here this is option a one point three five so this is the process we go through particularly to find the weighted average number of shares for the basic any special share calculation so look at the process you need to look at this pro forma, the number of shares. You need to know how to calculate the weighted uh, average number of shares. Also, you need to know how to calculate the theoretical x right price, which is key. When you get it wrong, all the calculation will be wrong. So very important. And also, how to count the time between the various dates, from the initial date to the issue date. And from the issue date to the year end you should be able to calculate that i hope this helps you in understanding a uh, calculation of basic earnings per share uh, in preparation for your exam please subscribe to this channel to receive updates on new videos